All right, everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the Jordan Report, and I'm your host, Robert Jordan. Everyone, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. All right, back out to California. I've been doing a lot on California lately. That's because they're always in the news. But it's just some more documentation of their descent into third world status. This is about the gangs that have infiltrated the LA County Sheriff's Department. I was born and raised in California, and although I don't live there now, I know a whole lot about it, and especially LA County Sheriff. They've always had this reputation of being these rugged, tough people and gang mentality. But obviously the gangs have infiltrated this police department. And we got an article on this from the Free Thought Project. And they document all the uh, police abuse throughout the country. It's a few days old, but we're going to go through it. It's just one article and a video at the end, so it's not going to take us long. Cops beat nearly to death by fellow cops for exposing a literal gang running the department. The department. L.A. County Sheriff Departments have divide, divided allegiances according to several police officers who, who just filed a lawsuit against their fellow cops for beating and choking them nearly to death. As the, thought, the Free Thought Project repeatedly claims, many law enforcement agencies resemble gangs more than a peacekeeping entity. There are Blue Lives Matter stickers, the Code of Silence, and the Thin Blue Line. However, many who hear claims such as police are gangs who steal from the public do not investigate such strong positions. Not only do whole police departments get caught up in corruption, but individual gang members can become police officers as well as control the entire department. It sounds a lot like Mexico, doesn't it, guys? I, I do a lot of stories on Mexico, and it's starting to sound and look like Mexico. Such is the claim from several deputies who say the gang known as the Bandidos, as far as I know, that was a motorcycle gang, a Latino motorcycle gang actually control the East LA, East LA Police Department and have been in control for 50 years. In 2014, police officers who were also members of the Bandito Gang reportedly demanded sex from new female recruits. In July of this year, the FBI was investigating the East LA branch of the LA County Sheriff's Department whereby Bandito Gang members had full control of station operations. The report states that the Bandito gang member, police officers, put others' lives at risk by not sending backup to help dangerous calls, enforce illegal arrests, enforced illegal arrests, quotas, and carried out forms of harassment. The culmination of scandals resulted, th resulted this month with several deputies claiming that they were beaten, choked, and nearly killed by fellow officers who, wore, who were also tattooed wearing members of the Bandito gang. Inspector General Max Huntman said it's been going on for 40 years. For 50 years, you know, the Sheriff Department has not addressed this problem, and management has actually supported them by enforcing a code of silence. This is a 50-year problem. It just, it just didn't arise with the new sheriff. Latinos have taken over mostly of the, the police departments in L.A. because of the large influx of Latinos. Okay, So they've come to control much of the sheriffs and L.A. police departments. As a result of an action by sheriff, the taxpayer will likely have to shoulder the financial responsibility of a reportedly vicious attack by badge-wearing gang members. According to a local news report, the attack took place after a party at Kennedy Hall last September that was sanctioned by L East LA Sheriff Station. All eight deputies are demanding $60 million in a new lawsuit against LA County and four fellow deputies they say are members of the Bandito Deputy Gang. According to law enforcement today, the same members of the Sheriff's Department are also tattoo-wearing members of the Bandito Gang. The tattoo looks like a skeleton wearing a sombrero, bandolier, and pistol. The gang tactics used in street games have reportedly crossed over the thin blue line with badge-wearing gang members, using gang tactics to recruit young Latino deputies and punishing those who reject their advances with physical attacks and encouraging and, inspire, and aspiring members to commit criminal acts such as planning evidence, writing false incident reports to secure membership in the gang. Seven sheriff deputies now claim bandito cops attacked them. Okay. 
Now I'm going to show you this video at the end. And then that'll be it. I'll make a comment and that'll be it. Here's one man's understanding of the infiltration street gangs in the LA Sheriff's Department. The conversation may be enlightening as the ramifications of gang infested law enforcement agency. Okay, and I'm going to show you just a quick clip of First, a Professor Walker, ex deputy, talking. And today I'm talking about the gang cliques associations within the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, in particular at the East Los Angeles station, but at other stations. Now, this has been in the news lately. It all came to a head over an attack last year where some deputies, young deputies, were jumped at a place called Kennedy Hall in East Los Angeles and attacked by older deputies who were part of a clique called the Banditos. They actually have tattoos um, to identify into this group. They retaliate against people that don't go along with their program. They call people rats, snitches, right on their cars, rat. We have evidence that a dead rat was left outside one of the deputies' cars that was somebody that was supposedly going against the banditos. The new sheriff has supposedly taken action there, but what we're hearing and what I've personally heard is that this is all still occurring, nothing's changing, and that these groups are at stations all over Los Angeles County. Maybe not necessarily all the stations, but quite a few of them, with deputies getting tattoos, clicking up and acting like criminals. Calling your group a click, calling yourself the banditos, this is gang-like activity. And this can't be tolerated. And now in the news, the FBI is investigating. A high-ranking sheriff's official uh, resigned over an unrelated ethical scandal, but under other bad conduct for the sheriff's department. I don't know what needs to happen to finally resolve this, but the fact that the FBI is involved and the FBI is investigating is a good sign. Um, something needs to be done. The Sheriff's Department has proven that they cannot handle this problem. This problem is not new, it's not recent. The Sheriff made a comment, uh, Sheriff Villanueva, that this is a leadership vacuum and, and he kind of inferred that this is something that is more recent or that something happened more recently to create this and that now that he's Sheriff he's going to fix things. This has been going on for decades. This isn't something because of any one particular leader. This has been going on forever. And even though I said I, I don't know what the final outcome should be, I, I'm not a police commander, never been a police commander. I've only worked as a police officer. Um, so some folks in command positions you know, may discount what I have to say or what my opinion is. Um, that's okay. It's America, right? Um, but my opinion is that the Department of Justice probably needs to take over the management of the LA County Sheriff's Department, root this out, fire as many people as need to be fired. I, I don't care if it's a hundred deputies or a thousand, but no one who is involved in a gang-like unit that commits illegal acts, intimidates officers, assaults officers, assaults the public, hurts anyone, should be anywhere near a badge or anywhere near a police station. They should, it's beyond common sense, and the fact that this exists, and this has existed for decades in the LA Sheriff's Department, it's, um, it's beyond scandalous, it's embarrassing. Um, I worked for a Sheriff's Department, worked for a City Police Department, can't even imagine doing things like this, and it's just normal there. Um, 
something has to be done. If you have any thoughts, feelings, please let me know. Uh, you can always email me too. If there's anybody from the Sheriff's Department who catches this video uh, at smokinglaw at gmail.com, I'll put the link down below. You can always email me and let me know what you think. Good, bad, am I right, am I wrong? Again, it's America. You can tell me whatever you want. All right, that's it. It's Professor Walker. All right, guys. That's what's going on in L.A. County. And uh, this, like I said, it's been going on a while. And this is what makes a third world country, people. A third world country is not just the poverty and the homelessness and the trash. That's, that's the result of a third world leadership. That's a result of corruption. And this is what California is facing right now. They're going, they're going down to the third world status because the place is thoroughly corrupt. It's going to take somebody from the outside to come in, like he said, the Justice Department or somebody like that, to fix California. The Californians are too apathetic to care. And so it's going to take outside intervention. You know, it's a terrible thing this was happening out there. And uh, we lost a beautiful state. And uh, that'll be it. See you next time.